Hello, everybody. This is a lecture about Tikal. I started the trip uh, in uh, Atlanta. Uh, we flew to uh, Guatemala City. This is Atlanta downtown. We crossed the Gulf of Mexico from Guatemala City. We stay in Antigua. This is the Plaza Central in Antigua, a very colonial Spanish uh, town, very pretty. This is one of the streets with the volcano on, on the background. The, in the main plaza, the Indians uh, sell uh, their products. Uh, they come from the hills. They live in the small towns around. This is the Volcán de Fuego. This is the top of the hotel, Hotel Camellias. We stay there in uh, Calle Oriente. Volcán de Fuego y Volcán de Agua are the main volcanoes around. The, we visited from Antigua. We went to the Atilan Lake. We took a boat to visit the small towns around. This is Panajachel. In uh, San Juan, one of the small towns, uh, we visited the galleries. This town is uh, famous to have a lot of uh, stores that they sell uh, paintings, very colorful paintings. In our trip back to Panajachel, we passed through uh, Santa Cruz, a small village by the shores of the lake. And then from Antigua, uh, we get up that morning very early at 3.30 to take the plane in uh, Guatemala City to um, arrive to Flores, the Mundo Maya airport, and then to take a minibus to start our visit to Tikal. This is the, the first thing we saw in Tikal, the Coatis, the Seiba trees, the import the big uh, roots of these trees that are very tall and the, the jungle lianas and this is the map of the tikal you can see the great jaguar the great jaguar here uh, in front of the great jaguar you can see the two mask uh, pyramid also the third temple the fourth temple the fifth temple and these are the the lost work of the Mayan. This is like the, how the pyramids were uh, found in 1881. One of the first uh, persons who saw the, the, the ruins or the travel, who traveled there was Mortley, uh, Alfred Mortley. The uh, pyramids had to be excavated to bring the pyramids to light. Uh, this pyramid you can you can climb. On top there is only a platform. That probably was a, a pyramid of a, a ceremonial pyramid. From the uh, uh, fork snake uh, pyramid, uh, the four, the fourth uh, temple. You can see this view. This is the uh, great jaguar, the two masks, the third temple. This is the great jaguar and the two masks, the great jaguar. The main plaza, this is me posing uh, in front of the great jaguar. It's impressive to climb climb the, the pyramids. In this one, the two masks, uh, you can see the view from the top. It is forbidden now in Chichen Itza and in certain uh, pyramids of Tikal too, 
because there was uh, a person in the 2006 who fell down 20 meters and uh, died. It was a woman, very old, 80 years old already. But after that, they prohibited uh, to climb certain uh, pyramids, especially in Chichen Itza. This is a recreational uh, map of uh, Tikal with the pyramids. The pyramids uh, were built uh, in the center, but also they split out uh, with buildings. In some buildings, the scribes live. The, the scribes uh, were uh, writing. The Mayan writing is very complex. They also predicted eclipses. They uh, study the astronomical, mathematical facts. Those are the warriors. The warriors also live in uh, in in Tikal in the center. The warriors uh, sometimes created uh, because they won wars. They were very important. They created probably uh, dictatorships. Uh, they had a lot of power, uh, and they created the the lineage the lineage that started uh, dynasties. In Tikal were 29 dynasties in total. This is the ball uh, player. Uh, they had to hit the ball with the arms, the, the knees, the shoulders, and the ball uh, had to pass through this uh, stone circle. And this is the, uh, the, the game the field of the game. You can see in the distance this uh, stone circle. This is a ceremonial uh, procession. The king and the emperor was uh, brought to the ritual uh, when the high priest uh, started the ritual. Uh, mo most of the rituals were uh, kind of uh, very aggressive, no? They they probably sacrifice um, the victims. The high priest with a knife took the the heart of the victims with uh, his hands to show the heart palpitating already, and to offer the blood to the gods. Quetzalcoatl was one of the gods. Tralok the the rain another one. This is the movie Apocalypto, uh, Apocalypto, where Mel Gibson is uh, probably showing to the actors what uh, what to do. This is the movie too, that movie, uh, the warriors that were just uh, trying to catch one of the victims. And this is the one of the rituals uh, in the in that movie. The victims were painted blue. So this is probably Tikal or another city. The, the pyramids were painted red. This is the glyph of the Mayan. Uh, the glyph of the Mayan, they have a particular... Uh, um, they are a copy of the uh, pattern of this snake, rattlesnake, that is called a how can protalus uh, durisus durisus. And uh, you can see the the squares of the skin, is, this is the same square. And also this is a pyramid from the top. You can see the pyramid, the, the stairs, and also the pyramid following the same uh, pattern. The Mayan calendar, uh, the Maya calendar was very important. Uh, they had four, 400 years. Uh, every year was 360 days, uh, so these 400 years were called uh, Bactoons, 20 years called Katoons, a month, uh, Vinals, Vinals, and, and a day, uh, Kings. After the visit to Tikal, we uh, came back to Flores in the Lake Pitenitsa, and then we stayed in this hotel and the, in the lake. 
we took our plane back to Guatemala City and back to Antigua. And this is the history of the of the um, tribes or the, the important uh, uh, tribes of Mexico. The Olmecs were the first in 1200 before Christ. They correspond to the pre-classic uh, Maya. El Mirador was one of the best and big pyramids of that, at that era. Uh, one of the ancients also. Teotihuacan, uh, it was from one to 700. Um, it corresponds to the classic and pre-classic, uh, post-classic period of the Mayan. Uh, the Mayan had to compete in several uh, city-states like Alakmul, Palenque, Bonampak, Waxatun, Copan, etc. They were competing in between themselves. So the Mayan didn't have an identity of big nation as the Spaniards gave them when they conquered Mexico and Ancotes, or Pedro de Alvarado in Guatemala. They gave them the idea of the land of the big nation that was Mexico because they didn't have that idea or that concept because they lived in uh, city states that for them the city state was the nation or the country that they had to defend. Uh, after the Teotihuacan was uh, defeated, the Toltecs uh, won power from 800 to 1100. Uh, this corresponds to the post-classic period of the Mayan, already uh, with, uh, with Chichen Itza and Uxmal, the important cities, because Tikal was abandoned. A drought probably was the clue to be uh, Tikal abandoned. The crops didn't uh, grow, and uh, the archaeologists didn't know exactly why Tikal was uh, abandoned. And then after that, uh, Chichen Itza and Uxmal were occupying the position of, uh, of power of Tikal in the north of Yucatan. And after that, the Aztecs with the Tenochtitlan were dominating the, the Mexico uh, land. This is the Yucatan, Yucatan Peninsula, and you can see the pyramids, the main centers, the city-states of Chichen Itza here, Uxmal was here, Tikal, Calakmul and Mirador was here, Bonampak, uh, Tulum, etc. Uh, Guatemala is uh, in this uh, part, so also we can see Belize, Honduras, etc. The classic period is the most important because there was a king, Hasho Tan Kabil, who built the great jaguar in Tikal uh, and also won the Kalakmul city. So then uh, his empire was very important and uh, his dynasties, in total almost 30, were occupying the all the period of history of Tikal. Another map of uh, Yucatan Peninsula. Uh, the Yucatan is more or less a jungle. In this part are the highlands, with Sierra Madre, Sierra Madre, the chain of mountains, the most important. And also we can see here. Uh, the, Yucat the Yucatan, Tikal was here, and the Teotihuacan. The commerce, the trade in between the cities of Yucatan and Teotihuacan, uh, with Chichen Itza also, and the Toltec, Tula was here, uh, and the Nautic a little down there. So uh, the commerce, the trade was very important. Uh, the trade was, was mostly related to the seashells, um, obsidiana artifacts, jade, uh, jaguar pelts, uh, also uh, feeder of uh, colorful birds, and uh, all type of fruits, probably from the jungle. This is the Chichen Itza, the Kukulkan, uh, one of the main pyramids of Chichen Itza. Chichen Itza from the air. This is the field of the game ball, the Kukulkan, 
And this is one of the buildings that more interesting buildings of Chichen Itza because it's an observatory. So the high priest describes, uh, probably watch the sky at night to calculate the, um, the constellations, the stars, predicting uh, eclipses, etc. A recreational map of uh, Chichen Itza with the pyramids painted of red. This is the field of uh, the, the field of the game of ball. This is a pyramid, the, the same Kukulkan uh, in Chichen Itza. I took the picture in 1973. This is the Tehuatihuacan. The Teotihuacan also, uh, the Pyramid of the Moon. And this is Tula, the city of the Toltecs. Uxmal from the top of the pyramid. Isla Mujeres, my sister, I, I was uh, traveling with her, and this is me in 1973. So, okay, now I finish the lecture. I hope you like it. Thank you for your attendance and uh, see you later. Bye-bye.